all right shalom yashrallah peace is all first and foremost as always we want to give our praises and honor and glorification due to double honor to our elders apostle of jms whole wow and our peace and blessings to the hopefully like akiam out there pushing this gospel this doctrine of yahaw bahashim yahawashai in righteousness in this everyday in truth and also shallow warm war brock of thumb peace and blessing to brethren and the few sisters that may be tuning and listen learning studying under the bible of yahaw bahashim yahawashai bahashim kakadash yahaw that's the hebrew name of whom the world england to call god the god of abraham isaac and jacob yahaw means he is he to be he exists the being that existed before time also known as the shadow of days in yahweh shachamashiach that's the hebrew name of his beloved son whom the world ignorantly called jesus christ yahweh means he who save he who deliver the savior of the elect or the national israel which also called blacks hispanics native americans west indians and haitians and our our country the bible with god chosen people baha shom baha which means in the shom name or call spirit could that surely in the name of the holy spirit which allow us to be able to understand this wonderful gospel this is the paleo hebrew jishin hebrew the lashon kodash the holy tongue the language that yahweh shai spoke to saul which become paul on his way to damascus the language of the heavens and once again to worry how about for allowing us to be able to understand this wonderful gospel i'm about a war that's a war we to akiam here from uh, the gems boston cape only king up to do shall listen no law warring satisfying as all is a purpose so we want to go into this uh, article uh, how these uh, so-called UFOs who know them as chariot of Yahweh as Shemeshai um, now more than ever they're making themselves known to the people because uh, for a long time Esau had the monopoly over those, uh, the information that the people were allowed to, to have access to you know, uh, 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 you know Esau was able to control it in the, in the, in the past but through this Yahweh as Shemeshai the Lord allowed technology to be flourish so now people have all kind of cell phone or uh, cameras you know what i'm saying so now the people are in charge of the of of their own information and these devils they can no longer hide those uh those uh those those uh secret. those mysteries the secret mm -hmm. and ultimately because uh the prophets on the scene that's a made that's a major uh 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 part of of the move of yahweh mm -hmm. you know yeah just to back you up because you said that uh amos 3 verse 7 and it reads surely the Lord Yahweh will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Yeah, surely the Lord Yahweh power will do nothing, but he really his, he reveal his secret unto his servants, the prophets. So if the secret uh, if the prophets know the secrets, or the secret gotta be the prophecies, man. So the Lord uh pursuant to Revelation 19 and 10, the testimony of Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. Prophecy has I will measure what's about to take place on the earth, and we know. One of the prophecies are uh, how how is Shai gonna come in a, a huge uh, photoshop, man? That's He's right. gonna block out the sun. All eyes shall see him, That's as the scripture right. says. And in that day, Yahweh Shai is the truth. Yahweh Shai gonna put uh, uh, everything gonna come gonna be revealed in that day, man. That's you know? right. Hey, yeah, yep. Yeah. So uh, if I may mention, you know, the the the, the talks of of uh, whether these government officials or people in high places are starting now to speak on this quote-unquote phenomenon just shows that it's the spirit of the lord pushing that vibration of of the truth of the matter and we mm. know ultimately it's through his servants the prophets and this is why you know through the spirit we brought out uh, amos 3 verse 7 surely the lord would do nothing but reveal of his secrets amongst his servants the prophets because it was hidden to us this this um this information was hidden from us mainly through the Lord, and he, and he used as a vessel from Esau to keep this hidden. This mm. was one of the top secret, quote unquote, top secret government uh, uh, secrets that was mm. not to be spoken about. It was classified, as mm. they'll say, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, that uh, the quote unquote UFO uh, agenda. Or, the, you know, uh, another one is the, who are the true Hebrew Israelites in the Bible. And ultimately, the Lord put that light into us through the prophecies, through the fear of the Lord, through the last days, opening that book because it was sealed, you know, till the last days. And he set up the servants, the prophets to, to, to be aware of what's going on. Mm. And the fact that these these uh, militaries or what is it, uh, Space Intel, uh, uh, NASA, mm -hmm. you know, they seeing uh, objects 
in the air and they knew about it you know these real people in high places the global elites they know mm -hmm. what these quote unquote ufos are we, we i say quote unquote because we know they are the chariots of the heavenly father that's right. and that's straight up and down you know the ufo stand for un unidentified flying objects, objects yeah. but they are identified by through through the knowledge of the scriptures, through the knowledge of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, they were always was spoken about in ancient times. Whether it was in Egypt, whether uh, Zechariah seeing, mm -hmm. whether uh, Elisha and Elijah, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. the 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 chariots were always known in ancient times and ancient kingdoms and ancient histories, man. But it's just in this time, just like we were discontinued here in this captivity from our nationality and discontinued from the truth and from our Lord and Savior, now mm. things is being made manifest at the end. And we're here to tell you that now these officials and people in high places, NASA and these, uh, again, they, they, they see something coming because ultimately it's the time for the Lord to make his move. It's the time of his arrival. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Come. And we're here to get let you know that, yeah, prophecy is, you know, Jacob's trouble, the RFID microchip, which is the MOTB I've spoken about in Revelation, the 13th chapter that must come to pass, uh, World War Three, mm -hmm. And during that, like the brother quoted in uh, Revelation, the first chapter, all eyes are going to see him because he's going to come in a great cloud. Mm -hmm. And it's not like a white cloud that you think that's in the air. That cloud is referring to a, sp a, a spaceship, mm -hmm. uh, 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 the chariot. And this is what you see on this screen from this article, man. Huh. Oh. I got a pretty separate quick so Acts 1 verse uh, Matter of fact verse uh, Verse 6 Acts, Acts 1 and 6 When they therefore will come together They ask of them saying Lord will thou at this time restore again The kingdom to Israel And he said unto them It is not for you to know the time or the season Which the father had put in his own power But ye shall receive power After that the Holy Spirit is come upon you and ye shall be a witness unto me, both in Jerusalem, in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up in a cloud, receive him mm. out of the sight. That's right. You know, and that's exactly what it is, man. Matter of fact, I'm going to keep going. So, yeah, yeah, and while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood up, uh, uh, stood up by them in uh, mm -hmm. white apparel, mm -hmm. which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? That's right. The same Yahweh which is taking up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. That's beautiful, bro. Hey, so, you know, uh, that cloud which received him, you know, that, that, that taking him up was the chariots, man. You know, which they call beaming him up. You know, beam him mm -hmm. up, Scotty, as a, what was it, Star Wars, or, you know, they beam him up. And then the same way Yahweh Shai was taking up in the chariots, which you see on this article, again, what they say, a UFO, it's going to be the same way he's going to come and appear, mm -hmm. you know, and that's why all eyes are going to see him. And these elites, they know that. Mm -hmm. These Hollywood directors, they know that because they showed it in the movies, whether Independence Day, when... When that big father ship cracked that cloud, then the original um, Father's Day, uh, uh, Independence Day with Will Smith, mm -hmm. everybody stopped. And, uh, there was the kids on the basketball court. They stopped yeah. playing. They looked up. There was the guy driving the taxi in traffic. Even it, it forced people to get out the car and look up. And they were gazing at, at the arrival of mainly it was the Lord. But, you know, in Hollywood, they push a narrative that it's a, an alien invasion, mm -hmm. you know, and aliens just mean strangers. And they are, those are actually going to be angels that's coming. And this is how the Lord's going to come back, man. Yeah. Um, this is a one, one, more, one more. Yeah. Exodus 13 and 21. Let me get that real quick. Mm -hmm. Exodus 13 and 21. Mm -hmm. yep. Exodus 13 and 21. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of, of a cloud yep. to let them the way and by night in a pillar of of fire to give them light to go by day and this night just to add what you just said the cloud that the scripture referring to are the so-called ufos that's right you know so that's how the lord uh led us out of the land of egypt by day in a pillar of fire by night man that's so right. the same uh, way the scripture says uh yahweh is the same yesterday today and forever so the same way that the lord delivered us from the the land of ancient egypt by using those uh those uh those uh uh, uh so-called ufos to guide us the chariots that's the same way it's going to do it in our lifetime man that's right but in this time we're gonna be physically removed from up the face of the earth into the heavens man Con and th that's beautiful that you mentioned that the reason why these people in high places are now speaking on it whether it was even donald trump even coming with a space force or in in, in uh the uh nasa 
cutting the feed of that flying object is because the reason why the Lord is coming is coming for judgment and ultimately he's coming to deliver the elect mm -hmm. because there's an uncoming uh, uh, an, uh, upcoming war that we've been through the spirit prophesying World War Three, and, and it's going to lead to thermal nuclear missiles mm. being shot through from one end to the earth to the other and the only way that the elect of Israel can be delivered from that destruction is to actually be beamed up like Yahweh Shai was in the past like uh, was it Elijah or Eli Elisha? Yeah, Eli Elijah uh, Elijah mm -hmm. this, so uh, 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 the, the salvation Yahweh Shai when he comes back the salvation is going to be uh, the elect uh, uh, being beamed up into a chariot to avoid the destruction of World War Three, and and this is why uh, things is now being made manifest. Come, you know? I gotta put some back here, bro. Yeah, come. Uh, Isaiah twenty six verse twenty. Yep. Isaiah twenty six verse twenty. Come, my people, enter thy into thy chambers That's and right. shut thy door about thee. Hide thyself, hide thy, hide thyself as it were for a little moment. On see the ignition be overpriced. Yeah, if I just may mention real quick, and then you can uh, the chambers. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it says like a whirlwind, mm -hmm. cloud, a pillar of fire, uh, a, a huge mountain, a huge mountain. Yeah, these is all um, synonyms mm -hmm. or uh, yeah, adjective, adjective, yeah, of describing, expl the describing, explaining what they saw and what this they saw is a chariot, man. So when you see those fl like a whirlwind, uh, fl a flying roll, we're gonna Lord willing get into that. And uh, you know, these is explaining the chariots of the heavenly father. And mm -hmm. these ancient uh, uh these prophets of ancient world always spoke about this. So this is not a new thing. But now, since we've been discontinued, we through the spirit and power of Shim Al Shai have to push that vibration of this is gonna be a curse on Esau Edom, but it's gonna mm -hmm. be the salvation and a good thing for the elect, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, verse 21 oh, and, and Salah, Salah, bro. Bro. My, my bad and, and just for this scripture it's talking about the actual salvation from the indignation of the heavenly father which is through these thermonuclear missiles the elect have to be physically removed mm -hmm. off the earth mm -hmm. so they can have that aerial view just like John the Revelator Lord I believe yeah brought John the Revelator and, and, and to see that aerial view of the destruction of Babylon yeah, you know, because, the lake of fire yeah because in Psalms 91 says only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the word of the wicked that's right so in order for you to see the world of the wicked, you gotta be way up there in the atmosphere, man. That's right. You know? Come on. And like we said, the, the chariot have to purpose uh, uh, salvation and destruction. Come salvation on. of the elect and destruction of the wicked. That's right. And you realize we haven't even got into the article. You know, it just see they say the the, the pitch is worth a thousand, a thousand words, words yeah. a headline. You mm -hmm. know, this why the scriptures is powerful. It's a living book. We can get into the article, but we're here to tell you, hey, we we got the secrets, we got the answers. Yeah. You know, through the spirit power you have by Shem Al Shai. It's nothing to boast or brag. It's just to be confident and let you know that the Lord has set up His servants last to tell you the real deal, man, and tell you what's going on, man. We're the real new news anchors. Mm -hmm. We are taking that headline and making our news. Uh, 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 through prophecy, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Al Shah, mm -hmm. to get uh, you Israelites aware. This, the reason why things is happening, and uh, uh, the Lord is putting that spirit into these other, uh, uh, again, high places to speak on it, is because He wants His presence to be known, and He's making His presence known through the plagues, through the destruction, through famine, through upcoming wars. So He's obviously going to make His presence known through the the, the salvation of His chosen. You know, come uh, now you're good. Yeah, Yo, you all good. Uh, verse 21 mm -hmm. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and, show, and shall no more cover her slain. And that's exactly what it is, man. So, hey, before, uh, when Yahweh Shai comes, man, mass killing, man. Yeah. Uh, even, even to the horse's bridle. Well, that's that's right. exactly what the scripture says, man. So, guess what? The chariot's gonna be used, used uh, as a weapon. The laser beam for the chariot's gonna be also used to cause the destruction, man. That's right. And Esau knows that. You know? And when they say Esau, we're not talking about Joe or Billy or Harry that maybe you may work with. We're talking about the elites, man. You know, the military, people in high places. It's, n it's not a coincidence that. Donald Trump uh, fought, had uh, the fifth operation. What was it? The the Space Force. Mm. Because they're going to fight the Lord. And they show you that in these movies as well. You know, again, Independence Day. The Battle of L.A. Uh, Los Angeles. The mm. Angels. You know what I'm saying? They show you the world at wars. There's going to be a, 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 a war in heaven. You know? And and like the brother mentioned, the Lord's going to come in that cloud and great death. He's going to kill. And I got a, a quick precept to mm -hmm. back you up. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 66 verse 15. Mm-hmm. I got it. Yep, Isaiah 66, verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind 
to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Yo, a whirlwind is another adjective that the Lord used to describe the chariots, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So that's how the Lord going to come to destroy the, uh, uh, the, the wicked and to take them out of power, man. That's to right. To win their anger. Because the Lord, Yahweh, is furious with the wicked. The scripture said the Lord is angry with the wicked every day. Every day. You know, so how much more is so being in power for, for for a long time, man? In, in our eyes, you know, in our eyes. So he has been pushing nothing but wickedness. Guess what? How shall I come, can't wait to see, to come and, and destroy these devils, man? Yeah, it's going to be a real true invasion. Because again, we as so-called uh, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the true Hebrew Israelites, we don't have an army that represents us. We can't you know call somebody and be like hey we need tanks we need weaponry we need uh uh some type of armory no our our uh um our uh, military is mm. the Lord of hosts. Yeah. You know, and that's the chariots, man. So this is a good thing, man. We want the Lord to to come and invade Esau Edom in his kingdom, because this is ultimately his earth. This is this is the Lord's earth. So he has to take back what was rightfully his, mm -hmm. what was designed. And he's gonna deliver us, man. And this is why we 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 pray and we haste and we see articles like this. Hey, best believe that it's your ass, Esau. This is why you can't upset prophecy. You can't do nothing against the truth before. So NASA, I think it was a video that was a two Passovers ago, you know, uh, there was a feed and they seen a big flying roll, a big flying object in space, man. And they said it was like, uh, I can't remember, it was like four times or maybe five times as big as Earth coming and they cut the feed. And that's the Lord sh uh, showing his servants, the prophets, who he gave that... Uh, what do you call it? Well, we just started off with the Amos. The, the secrets, secrets. The secrets, the mysteries, to be aware, pay attention that he's coming, man. Mm. And he's coming to, to haul ass. He's coming to destroy and conquer and conquer and remove crowns, you know, and ultimately set up the righteous. And this is what we hasten for, man. You know? That's right, that's right, come on. Come on. Get into the article. Yeah, get into the article. Hey, see, yeah. 15, 15 minutes <laughs> of, hey, this, of, a living, of a living book, man. Okay. You want me to read it? Or? Yeah, okay. yeah. Con. So we got this article from RT, and the picture right there is beautiful, man. Oh, and I don't know if you noticed. I just yeah, realized somebody's flying. If someone's like, being getting beamed up, up. Yeah, I didn't yeah, yeah, see yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I just seen the chariot. Yeah, see, yeah. and that's how that's going to be the salvation of Israelites, man. The elect, excuse me. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's also spoken about. Whether that what, wisdom of Solomon, the fifth mm, chapter. The fifth chapter. This shall be amazed yep, at yep. the of salvation. salvation. Con. So. Uh, uh, we'll get to this article. Yep. Uh, U.S. Congress to question Pentagon on UFOs. The House Intel Committee will hold its first public hearing on unexplained aerial phenomenon in 50 years. The House Intelligence Committee has scheduled a hearing to follow up on some 143 UFO sightings reported between 2004 and 2021. Yeah, I believe it was 144 sightings. They just, you know, they, they, they just wanted to, 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 to say 143, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, Representative Andre Carson oh, from Indiana revealed on Tuesday the hearing scheduled for next Tuesday will be held by the Intelligence Committee uh, Subcommittee on Counterterrorism, Counterintelligence, and Counterproliferation, which Carson chairs. Since this is an area of high public interest, any undue secrecy, right? Did I said it right? Secrecy? Uh, uh, secrecy, yep. secrecy can serve as an obstacle to solving the mystery or could prevent us from finding solutions to potential vulnerabilities. Hey, and we're saying through the spirit, we already solved the mystery through mm. the Lord mm -hmm. and, and, and through him putting his spirit and power into us and the knowledge. We're telling you the secrets have been revealed. It's already mm. it's already been solved. man. The cat is out of the bag. The cat is out of the bag, man. Con. Uh, Carson told the New York Times, this hearing is about examining steps, examining steps that the Pentagon can take to reduce the stigma surrounding reports by military pilots and by civilian pilots. Uh, so, so there is other witnesses that have, you know, witnessed yeah. this flying role, yeah. this object. Man. Uh, there was a, a, a couple of years ago, this elder white man was a pilot and was explaining how there was giant so-called black men in the UFOs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said very, very dark. And the lady asked people like us. You know, he was like, nah, nah, nah. They that were very, very dark. And there was another account of an Ephraim cat. 
Like, I don't oh, know if you seen I, that. I seen it. Yeah, and he and he said, "Oh no, they weren't black men, but they were dark men." And I think he was being coerced from the interview not to say it. Mm. But he also was talking about it was it was uh, uh, I think in the eighties or the nineties. Yeah, yeah. And he it was an Ephraim cat, a, yeah, yeah. a so called Puerto Rican. Yeah, I believe saw, uh, I believe Elder Cosa did a lesson about it. I bought it a while ago. ago. Yeah, yeah. Con. and he was you could tell he was telling the truth how he got beamed up and what he saw. He saw a big tall he said dark skinned men with froze, but he said, Oh no, 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 but they weren't black. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think he was coerced to say that. Yeah. But we know what's you and I really know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But hey, see, so and this is years ago. And and when I read here, it says since since this is an area of high public interest, so this is a uh, uh uh, 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 people have been, uh, uh, been asking questions. Asking, they have a high alert and interest mm. about this topic, mm -hmm. and they can't. Esau can't keep this hidden, man. And we know through the scriptures, every uh, what's what can uh, what is it? hid cannot be. Um, uh, look, look, look. Be uh, made manifest. Uh, uh, it says, "Look." Um, is it Luke 7? Nothing can be hid that we There's made. There's nothing hid that shall not be made manifest. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you can find it. Yeah. If not, I mean, we paraphrase it. But Luke 8 verse 7 sin, I think. Luke 8 it. verse 7 okay. sin. I think so. Luke 8 verse 7 sin. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, Luke 8 verse 7 sin. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid. That shall not be known and come abroad. Yeah, everything has to be exposed to the light eventually. What's done in the dark eventually will come to the light. Esau, well, again, these people in high places have their harnessed their power through secrecy. But in these latter days, they are now being exposed. We're in the age of information. We're in the uh, uh, of the age of putting the light on them cockroaches, man. Mm. And now they kind of scatter. And we're in the age of uh, Esau uh, legs being made made, made bare. You know, mm -hmm. as Jeremiah. 49 yeah, right. and also Isaiah what, yeah. 47 I believe you know he saw secrecy he can't hide himself anymore man yeah and just like with his lies or his deception or, or, or keeping the, the 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 manuscripts or the files hidden mm. hey it's all being exposed we're in the time of the expose yeah you know? I got a quick precept for a quick uh Habakkuk 2 verse 14 Habakkuk 2 verse 14 yep. for the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of Yahweh of the glory of Yah of the Lord Yahweh as the water cover the sea, so uh, the the earth shall be filled with the knowledge, right, mm -hmm. of the glory of the Most High as the water cover the sea. So just like a uh, water, the truth is compared to water, right? That's right, living. And, right. You know what I'm saying? So the water is pretty much here to wash the, all the lies, the deception of of Esau. That's right. You know, that's exactly what it is, man. So we are living in a time where uh, uh, the Great Awakening is happening. And these devils, they can no longer control the narratives like they used to in the past because people are asking questions. People now have interest uh, in They're what's inquiring. going on. They're yeah. inquiring because mm -hmm. uh, the prophets are on the scene. The prophets are pushing a vibration out there and the people are, are, are getting more, more curious. You know? And that's how the Lord is using. He's using the prophets to expose and lift up that skirt. To reveal the secrecy, the sins, the, the the deception of Esau, Edom. And real quick to back you up off that precept, Daniel 12 verse 4. Uh, but thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Yeah, knowledge has been increasing, man. Knowledge has been increasing because uh, to the to the internet, man. That's exactly why uh, J. Rockefeller said that the internet sh should have been never invented. Yeah. Because uh, ESO is being exposed on every level: yep. TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. What YouTube, YouTube, man, on his profits on the streets, <laughs> man, everything, man. Yeah, that's exactly what it is, man. These, these devils, they are losing control. They are losing control of the people because, um, uh, if you keep control to control people, you have to control their mind. You have to control the information that they have access to, because that's how you're controlling people. If you no longer have control, the monopoly over the information that they that they see that they hear. Guess what? You you you're not controlling them. You're losing you're losing power, yes, and that's sir. exactly what Esau feared the most, man. Come on, one more. Well, not one more, but just on that topic because we're mm -hmm. gonna go back to the chariots. Uh, Jeremiah forty nine. But I have made Esau bear. That's right. I have uncovered his secret places. He shall not hide himself. Oh, shall I, he shall, he not, shall be not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. His bear is being exposed, man. Yeah. You know, he, he shall no longer hide himself. There is nowhere to go. Yeah. Because uh, that's the truth hour, man. Now the truth is being made manifest. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, there is no... Uh, uh, b before Yahweh Shai comes, guess what? Everything has to be exposed. That's and right. that's exactly what you, you've been witnessing. That's, that's exactly right. what you've seen happening all over the earth, man. Come on. Uh, to go back to the article, where I left off at... Um, 
pilots. Us pilots. Yep. yep. Okay. So among those testifying before the subcommittee are under Secretary of Defense for Intelligence. You found it, bro? Salaka. My, uh, my thing is on our. It's on our uh, okay, okay, okay. Um, Among those testifying before the subcommittee are Under Secretary of Defense for Intelligence and, Secu and Security Ronald Moultrie and Deputy D Director of Naval Intelligence Scott Bray. Both have been involved with further investigating the 143 sighting detail in a report released last year by the Pentagon Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon Task Force, an office that has been that has since been replaced by the Airborne Object Identification and Management Synchronization Group. The new division, led by Moultrie, is supposed to detect, identify, any and attribute objects of interest in special use airspace and to access and to uh, mitigate, mitigate any associated threats to, to safety or of flight and national security. Mm. And Andre Carson is the one again that we read as a representative from Indiana. Say he was gonna speak on this. This is his one of his quotes from his tweet, uh, his Twitter. It says, uh, "Congress has held a public hearing on unidentified aerial phenomenon or UFOs in over 40, 50 years. Mm. That will change next week when I lead a hearing in House Intel on this topic and national security risks it poses. Americans need to know more about these unexplained occurrences." Yeah, that's exactly what uh, I think. I, I believe it was uh, Jimmy Carter, before he took office, he was uh, uh, running on the pr on the premise that when he get into office, he's gonna make sure people know about the UFOs. Yeah. But once he got there, guess what? Nobody ever hear uh, him of him saying that anymore, man. Yeah, because right. uh, these devils, the elite, they know like they have a, they have a, Agenda, this, there are certain th certain things that you can talk about, man. That's right. You know. And this is again, this is one of the classified top secret uh, 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 things, man. That you can't speak on, man. You can't speak on who are the he true Hebrew Israelites. You can't speak on the UFOs because they have to control the narrative that it's an actual threat onto America. They push it like it's an actual uh, invasion, you know, of aliens. Mm. And that gives uh, Americans or just people on Earth that spirit of we need to fight them. Mm. So they want you uh, through that. That's the philosophy. They want you to actually hate and try to fight against the Lord, you yeah. know. But ultimately, we are not ignorant of Satan's devices. We know it's a good thing if we see a chariot, you know, and we pray we're part of that hopeful elect because there's a, that's our salvation, man. Mm -hmm. But the reason why Esau has to push them lies is deception because he know when that chariot appears, when the Lord comes and makes his presence known, it's going to be a curse upon him. Yeah, man. that's his ass, man. That's his ass. Uh, let me just finish up with here. I think it's a few more. And we can get, uh, what is it, Zachariah, maybe? Uh, the fifth chapter. The fifth chapter, come. Uh, public discussion of UFOs have increased since 2017. When it was revealed, the Pentagon had a project known as the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program tasked with identifying or at least trying to identify which such aircraft. Last year reported, last year's report released to Congress, while largely classified, hinted that the Pentagon was involved in analyzing the advanced technology seemingly displayed by UFOs, which was has which has which it has divided into multiple categories, admitting in one part partially read readiac section that the uap unexplained aerial phenomenon probably lacks a single explanation so the pentagon the congress they know about this mm -hmm. they keep this on file but they don't speak on it but now it's time to be exposed man you That's know right. uh zachariah five verse one then i turned and lift up mine eyes and look and behold flying wall and he said unto me what says thou and i answered a flying wall the lift of is 20 cubic and the breath of is 10 cubic then said he unto me this is the curse that goes forth over the face of the whole earth for everyone that sealeth shall be cut off as on this side according to it and everyone that swore it shall be cut off as on that side according to it uh, verse 4 and i will bring it forth said the lord of hosts and it shall enter into the house of the thief and it and to the house of him that were falsely by my name, it shall remain in the midst of this of his house, and shall consume it with timber, with the timber thereof, and the stone thereof. You know, and that's exactly what it is, man. The flying wall. That's what I'm referring to those so-called uh, uh, UFOs. Yeah. And it shall enter into the house of the thief. The house of the thief is is, who, is where? 
America, man. That's right. You know, it shows you perfectly in the movie, in the business, man. Yeah. You know, you know how the UFO was, was hovering over the White House. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then eventually it, it, it zapped it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It zapped. I think what was the Empire State Building. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't seen it in so long, but I know it was over the White House, and that's the. <laughs> Satan's seat yeah. of wickedness, yeah. you know, in yeah. Babylon too, man. Yeah, you know? the house of the thief, man. Because uh, everything this devil got is uh, to lie, deception, and wickedness, man. They, these devils, they took everything from us. So guess what? Everything that they that that they stole from us, they got is gonna be destroyed in one hour, man. That's right. Once the house shall come, do them chariots, also do them um, ICBM missiles, man. And again, that's the curse that's gonna go off the whole earth, man. You know. And hey, that's also salvation for the elect, man. Come on, come on. Hey, Amen. So that was a lesson, you know. We hope this was edifying. You know, we know we, we go a little longer, but you know, it is what it is to the spirit. So, mm -hmm. Lord willing, yeah, yes, Lord willing. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I, we forgot to even bring out uh, Psalms, what, 68? 68, you know? Verse, verse uh, 17, right? Okay, because we talk about <laughs> yeah, the charity bring, bring of the Lord is going to be it. one. Nah, there's going to be bring, many. Salakia, bring, yeah, bring it out, bring it out. I was thinking about because we. See, that just shows how the spirit moves, man. We before before we recorded, we were like, "Yo, we're gonna bring this out. We're gonna bring that out." But we, you know, the spirit had us go yeah. somewhere else, man. But uh, yeah, yeah. I'll bring it out. You can break it down. Was it uh, uh, Psalm sixty-eight, verse seventeen? Verse seventeen, and it reads, "The chariots of the Most High are twenty thousand, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai in the holy place." Yeah, because uh, once your house shot comes, man. The chair is gonna be covering the whole the, the whole sky, man. It, it, it's gonna be everywhere, man. That's why it's gonna be dark. Yeah, gonna blocking be dark. the sun. Everybody gonna see it at all time, no matter where you are in the world, man. You know that's, that's right. how exactly what it is, man. You know, just like the Lord uh, led us in the land of Egypt, you know, uh, to the chariots. We will mention it. That's the same things that's gonna happen in a lifetime, man. That's right. You know, everybody gonna see it, man. And you know, yeah. In, in Egypt, he led us through direction by us looking up and following the chariots. Mm -hmm. But this actual Egypt, this actual Exodus from this modern day Egypt, is actually looking up and actually getting beamed up. Beamed in up. It. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. So that was a lesson. You know, we hope this was edifying. Uh, we want to give all praises and honor and glorification to Tuiki Yahweh, Bahashem Yahusha, Bahashem Okakodash. Double honor to our elders, Apostle JMS Whole Wall, and our peace and blessings to the hopefully like I am out there pushing this gospel, this auction of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh and righteousness and sincerity and truth. Until next time, Shalom. Shalom.